Yep, yep. You are listening to KXRY 107.1 FM, 91.1 FM, www.xray.fm. What up, world? I go by the name of DJ Cliff, and this is Walk to the Neighborhood. Here with you every Saturday night from 8 to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bring you number the very best from the Northwest and worldwide. Appreciate you tuning in, man. The artists that I had an opportunity to chop it up with, Rashid Jamal. He's a he's a he's a he's a really 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 cool cat. And he's going to be in the neighborhood in just a minute. But I got to do this, man, just in case you don't know, in case you are not aware. I'm going to give you a little, a little taste of Mr. Rashid Jamal. We're going to come back in just a minute right here. Welcome to the neighborhood. Got a dream. I'll never let him take it away. Hey. Be the best. Vibing off a line, I wrote it 15. Still going hard, kinda wish I had a split screen. Dirty mouth, dirty mind, but my kids clean. So next year around this time, big screen. Hollywood, Hollywood, rapping spot town. Yeah, it's all good. Man, I'm independent, not offended by your opinion, so I can't fail. Not even the mental getting this hating like I can't tell. Yeah, doing the podcast. Yeah, we did a little bit. That's right, that's right. So um First up, just let let folk know, just in case they didn't they didn't listen to the podcast yet. Okay. Let them know about the let them know about the the project that is that is complete right now. Yeah, so uh, I got Saint Kofa. Okay, that's getting ready to come out, um, and we're looking at actually having the album release um, on the thirty on on, on the thirtieth. Shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get my media trader right. Uh, we're having the album release on the twentieth. For this month at Kelly's Olympian. That's what's up. Um, I would love it if you came through, man. Oh, look, you know, that's it. That's all you gotta do is say I'm, I'm gonna be there for real, for real. Kelly's has been such a cool spot to, um, to continue to support the the local scene. So you know, yeah, man, man show love. Rap music is not looked upon favorably. Not in this area. right now. Not around, this around, around these parts. Well, depending on depending on who you talk to, um. But yeah, nah, I would agree. So we, we need to be there. So that's going down on March the 20th. Yeah, March the 20th. At Kelly's Olympia. Yep. Okay. I want to say that's a Saturday too, but okay. I just said 30th before, so I mean, <laughs> clearly I'm intoxicated. <laughs> Rashid Jamal, too much water. Up, in the, up in the neighborhood. Uh, and, and it's funny that you say that because, man, if anybody has had an opportunity to follow you on social media, they see how you be on your grind. Getting your getting your exercise in, yeah. Trying to be healthy, not trying, yeah. being healthy, yeah. I seen you motivating other cats too, yeah, man. Like uh, I might as well start me like a little fresh tribe training. Come on now, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm gonna just let you know we gonna keep it hood. There you go, there you go. No certifications, <laughs> no waivers. If you get hurt, you are it's on you. Getting into it's on you. But yeah, man. Honestly, man, we we mess around and uh, me and my girl, we we mess around and watch the uh, Fast Food Nation. Oh, it's amazing. It's an amazing documentary. Yeah, man. It's a life changing situation. Yeah. I I completely had to leave fast food uh, burgers. Yeah. Burgers. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Alone and. I think it's interesting. I don't want to get too deep, but <clears throat> the way we treat things that we consume rubs off on us when we consume them. Come on, because now. we really are what we eat. Come on now, and it's kind of the same for uh, you know marijuana's being legalized. And yeah. I just learned, you know, actually today that uh, the anxiety that people get whenever they smoke hydro uh, hydroponic weed thing like that. Uh huh. Um, is because the uh, the plant is a living thing, and when those uh, it gets fractured, when the TAC comes out and yeah. it crystallizes on the outside, and that's what gives you those adverse effects. Whenever like you can't sit still, like you just don't feel right. Whenever you get, you Ooh. know, what I'm saying you get you get off that, you know, uh, defocalize yeah. off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, if you get it grown the right way and not hydroponically, when it's grown outside, it's kind of similar to like having free range chickens right. and turkeys right. and cows and things like that it's better for you huh 
Yeah. Huh. Something to think of. You know, and it's funny, bro. All right. We ain't, we ain't going to get too deep. We're going to have to do another episode of the podcast. Right. <laughs> but it's interesting that, you know, it's being all of a sudden it's like it's being um, accepted, it's, you know, everywhere. It kind of makes you wonder. Is what, it? You know, I, I am. We look. We, we, what's we, in we, it? We got, <laughs> what's in it? <laughs> Rashid Jamal. All right. So do this Bert, real quick. Let them know the name of the album. The the the, right, the, so the latest one. The new album coming out is called Saint Kofa. Okay. Um, it's thirteen tracks of me uh, regressing into basically pretending I'm at home and I'm nineteen years old, and that's what the whole album is like. Uh, you know. I was like, you know, I ain't ashamed of it. Like, I was homeless when I started working on it. Wow. So, like, the project started out as, like, very dark. And as time has gone by, it's lightened up a lot. Right. And, like, I've even, like, taken certain songs off because, like, it was a little bit it's, it's, it's too heavy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. you know, it needs to be heard. So it's like, in the midst of that writing process and expressing all of that emotion, <clears throat> I kind of got to a point where I wasn't really making anything that was... It's, it's, I don't know. It just had me feeling bad, man. Yeah, Cause I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like deep into like the gut. Like I'm coming from my belly on everything. Right, right. On it, and you'll see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, man. You know what, man? I just feel like writing, man. That's what's you up. You know, there was a lot going on, man. I was just having this moment, man. And um, I messed around, just went online, man, and I just found like ten beats, and I just wrote to them. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't want to make a new album. I just felt like writing. Mm -hmm. So I got the writing. And my partner, uh, Dre Slaps, he was in New York yeah. on an internship with Sony at the time. Yeah. So it's like, I ain't had nowhere to record. So I messed around and got Zeb's number, mm -hmm. Zebulon Dak. No doubt, no doubt. Over there at uh, Momentum Studios. Exactly. If you need your junk done right, go holler at him, please. Zeb, for real. And um, <clears throat> man, I got in there, man. Me and Zeb hit it off it, like he does with everybody. Great professional. And, um, you know, I think he took a liking to what I was doing. So yeah. those mixes were just coming out. It was popping. And it's like, it, it actually, bro, it wasn't until I heard it back that I was like, yo, this is actually tight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, I started letting other people hear it because, like, my thing was I made it just to, for the sake of relevance and for the sake of, okay, I know I'm taking a long time on this album. Here goes something for y'all. Right. And like, I was just going to throw it out there. A little treat. Yeah. I was going to throw it out there with no nothing. And yeah. then like, so I just started doing stuff I wouldn't normally do, like emailing the whole project to people yeah. before it was even complete. Yeah. Like letting people hear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being so secretive with it. Right. But it was like, you have to know me to get it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and I'm just going to put it out there. I got it. So let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. We're going to take a, we're going to take a real, real quick break. And I want to come back and just speak on that. Uh, can you hang for just another minute? Yeah. All right, Rashid Jamal, right here. Welcome to the neighborhood. To go see one of the, uh, one of the. I don't even know how you how you described it, man. One of the most influential groups. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Re regardless of genre, <clears throat> out there, right quick. Um, speak on that, right quick, man. Do you feel like do you feel like you have been influenced in any way by what they do? Um. Yeah. Like M ones. M ones had an album where it's like. Man, I'm one of them cats where it's like I got an encyclopedia in my head. Yeah. But I'm bad at recalling names and specific <laughs> stuff. Like, I'm probably like the cat that listens to the most music and I never remember all the stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But M1 definitely had projects that I lived with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and I mean, honestly, what Dead Press represents just to the culture of like. I wouldn't just say they give off like an anti-materialistic mindset because they definitely about their paper. They definitely get their money. Right. But it's that sense of self-determination yeah. that is like lacking in the game in the way that it's presented. Yeah. Like you got those musicians who fit together like uh, your Jill Scotts, your Erica Badu's, The Roots, yeah. your Questlove's, your D'Angelo's, your... Uh, most deaths, Ty Libs. Yeah. And like, we like to throw them into this category as like they're like in some mystical circle of consciousness. And right. like, there's like this whole thing going on. And nah, but not like, man, they like, just like us, man. They grew up in the same neighborhoods we grew up in. They went through the same stuff we went through. Yeah. But for some reason, they chose to elevate themselves. Yeah. And yeah. to like use that to 
give give out positivity. No doubt. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of times that comes off as like uh, the quote unquote revolutionary. Yeah. Or it comes off as the quote unquote angry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When honestly, like they saying stuff that we talk about in the barbershop. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? They they saying stuff that we talk about just like on the just on the humbug waiting on the bus or ride down the street or you know what I'm saying? This is conversation at the dinner table sometimes. Yeah. That, you know, they're allowing you to peek into that world. And it made having that example out there as a youngin. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, you got Nas where he can, you know, he riding around like on uh, you know, uh if I rule the world. Yeah. You know, it's like casino. But then at the same time, you know, he'll break down and really talk about guerrilla warfare. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He'll talk about, you know, uh things that are really going on in the ghetto. Yeah. Things that are really plaguing the minds of the youth. Things that are relevant. Things yeah. that are real. Well, and I think it, 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 one of the one of the reasons that I'm excited about the project is that I think to a great extent that's what you're doing on this latest project, and I think a lot of people might um, be not not shocked, but have to have to uh, make really, a decision. Really, yeah, yeah, you like yeah. It, you love it or you hate it. Exactly, but yeah. I think the things that you're saying on this project are things that, like you're saying, a lot of a lot of the conversations that we have behind closed doors mm -hmm. that we're afraid to have in an open forum right. but 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 information that needs to be said and it's a very personal project i mean there's a there's cuts on there i think that 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 you're very um very vulnerable on and i think it's really dope that you're sharing that with the masses so man you know what's interesting is that there's a song on there called mona lisa brown yes that's the <laughs> joint and uh uh i performed that song for the first time uh back in Man, I don't remember when it was. Yeah. But I performed that song. Oh, yeah. I, I performed it that night. I shot the video for Dope Tape. Okay. And, uh, man, I started crying when I performed that song. But I don't cry over nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can count on one hand how many times I've cried over the past few years. But, like, I, I did that song and I was like, man, what is going on right now? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then my mom was on the end of it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, like, uh, I put a lot of, uh, I put a lot of held in held in emotions yeah. into it you know what I'm saying like uh, things with my dad and things with uh, you know the way I kind of set it up was that you know you have Mona Lisa Brown and then right after that you got condolences so yeah. you hear my mother's voice right before I do a song about my father Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying deep man deep yeah. for real for real yeah you know um, like there's certain skits in there where it's like I was in the back of a cab <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah. and I told him I was on the way to a show yeah. oh oh you rap yeah yeah like yeah I rap he's like oh okay let me do something he turned yeah. his radio down yeah yeah Jamaican cat you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah so uh <clears throat> I finished rapping for him and like he talked to me for the whole time like it's like a whole 13 minutes I recorded on my phone he didn't even know wow. and like he was just saying yo man that's a big deal yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> and I'm mimicking sure. his voice because I've listened to it so many times yeah, you know yeah, yeah. But like I put that on the end of a song called Speeding in Slow Motion. Which is another joint, for real. Yeah, and that and that track is like speeding in slow motion. It's like we're racing but still getting nowhere. Deep. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm telling y'all, the album, I have it. I'm not don't ask me because I'm not giving it to you. But it's dope. It's ridiculous. Um and I invite you all to come and help me celebrate the release. March the twentieth, Kelly's Olympia. It's a Friday. I pulled up my calendar. It's, it's a Friday. Friday. Okay. A Friday at Kelly's Olympia, March the twentieth. Come hang out. Um, come see uh, an amazing artist, an amazing performer, and uh, just an amazing guy, Rashid Jamal. Man, thank you, man. For sure, man. Look, this was this was a long time coming. Yeah. Um. Now you are. We did the we did the phone in like a year ago. Right. Right. Now you here live. You are officially. A neighborhood resident, my man. Brother. Finally, <laughs> I've seen everybody else out there getting their whole neighborhood on. I'm like, man, yes. I live down the street too. Yes, absolutely, Rashid <laughs> Jamal, brother. Thank you so so much.